Hello there once again, and welcome back to Let's Play People's General. Yes, General Ling and his merry band of military guys are in Ural Mountains. Well, not really in Ural Mountains, but at the foot of Ural Mountains somewhere. After they have gone to Kazakhstan, on the first go around, first attempt, they went hilariously bad after first turn. The Kazakh, stop of Kazakh mechanic infantry or recon was able to capture the supply point, thereby ending Ling's career at that point. The second time around, second second go around, he was able to persevere and was able to very methodically pick apart the I guess military power that Kazakhs and Russians combined forces presented. Didn't have Americans there. I guess uh, they were busy preparing for something. Some more surprises inland of Russia is generally has further west. And he's right now near the objective city of Ekaterinburg. And Ekaterinburg kind of suspiciously sounds more western, more European than the other city names that we encountered uh, through Briet um, territory or the Republic of Briatia and uh, other uh, places. But I think they all um, you know, have Russian meetings, like Vladivostok, for example, and uh, Khabarovsk. Um, however, uh, Ekaterinburg is named after a Tsarina, I believe that is what the Queen of Russia used to be called. So Tsar is the king, and then Tsarina uh, should be the queen. Uh, I'm not so sure, but uh, I don't know, it kind of makes sense, but yeah, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, anyways, yes, um, coming back to the LP, uh, General Ling has found himself at Ekaterinburg. And Ekaterinburg is uh, one of the, I guess, the symbol of Russian military, uh, industrial military complex, I believe, situated at the foot of the, one of the rural mountains. As very helpful viewer and commenter Felix has pointed out, once again, thank you. Uh, it is where, I guess, most of the military um, or the you know industry is producing a lot of military armament for the Russian forces. Uh, it makes sense because rural mountains itself uh, from what I read is just very rich in minerals, uh, coals and iron and what have you. There would be a perfect place for Russia to set up its military to churn out tanks and other armament. I believe, I think it was Irkutsk, was very important. What is it, laboratory or the military uh, manufacturing facility there as well, producing fighter planes. Um, I think it was Sukhoi planes. And speaking of Sukhoi, uh, there was a new stealth fighter unveiled in one of the Russian air shows very recently. T-50, still fighter, pretty cool, as it is unveiled in front of the Russian public. All other planes that were there, including the American planes, rather strangely. Uh, yes, anyways, Ekaterinburg and another city in close proximity of Ekaterinburg is called Uramash. The Uramash really doesn't hold back in its, um, I guess, reference to where the name could have come from. Mountains. And it is, um, I think these two cities straddle a river, the name of which I really do not know, but I really know soon enough. Yeah, so we are here, here, and I think this would be a great point for Chinese to take over because, as I mentioned, this is like a heart of Russian uh, military complex, a lot of facilities, manufacturing factories. Now, this is probably where Stalin had moved all their um, manufacturing capacity after their western portion of the country was ransacked by the Germans in the early phase of the Operation Barbarossa and using this uh, very fabled train system, I don't know whether it was called Trans-Siberian then, but um, Stalin was able to use a rail system to move all the... basically lift up the uh, factory as someone in one of the um, documentary interviews had described to lift the factories uh, right where it stood and basically um, completed its journey across to Royal Mountains or the other side of the Royal Mountains where it set shop and was manufacturing um, T-34s not long after that. Okay, all right, so the... Yeah, so the forces as it stand. Uh, we have a pretty generous amount of tanks, yeah, six tanks and all uh, pretty advanced. And some artilleries, yeah. Four artilleries and I have added to the recon which have survived all of them which is pretty cool and yeah I have a lot of air defense I think I have seven yeah seven air defense units um, very expensive uh, you know I guess expensive and also expensive air defense uh, forces 
And military, yes, of course. Not military, so infantry, yes, I have eight. Do I have eight? I think I have ten right now, but one of them was a garrison that I have selected to protect the rear guard, namely the supply point that was taken over in the first attempt last time around. And of course the helicopters. Sure, that is a pretty sizable offering, and I guess I need to exchange this guy first. So, where can I do that? Um, well, I guess I can do it right here. Uh, incidentally, I found out what this green square means, um, in, you know, inside the unit uh, selection. It means that this guy, if replaced, will not be receiving the experience unit, veteran unit. So obviously, experience that this unit had gathered so far until then will go down substantially because the replacement will have the experience of zero. And this gray mark means that this unit will have replacement that has 100 experience points to begin with. So each experience loss, if replaced, will not be as great. And there's one more. Um, I don't know if I can show you right now. Yeah, maybe not. Let's press it. And you can see it right here. Let me see. Can I go there? No, can't. Ah, yes, I can go here. Yes, for example, if I selected this unit, and you can see that the rectangle is green. And you can see that this gray, which applies to most of my forces here, thankfully. And if you select even better a replacement strategy, it becomes gold. So, yeah, it is gold. More mustard, but... And you could see that I don't have the unit capable of being replaced by this advanced unit. So, yeah. If I had a lot of prestige points or become very successful or, you know, can expect what kind of forces I'm going to be facing in this mission, maybe I can risk more prestige and purchase some of the new unit with better replacement like this. But right now I'm perfectly fine with the gray or the silver or first level replacement. Yeah, so what to spend this pull of prestige on? Uh, air defense, I think I have enough air defense to last me for a while. I just keep over strength my unit and maybe add one more anti aircraft uh, helicopter air defense. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think I have a lot of artillery as well, but it seems it's time for me to add uh, a longer range option. Uh, to be more flexible and not having to worry about crossing the rivers and whatnot. Uh, which would bring me to look at WS-1, which has a very good range. Still hard target, but it's very anemic in terms of ground defense. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to expect certain kind of trade-off. It only has three shells, but I guess that goes for... Oh no, actually, yeah, this guy has the lowest amount of shells, but each impact is pretty great. Um, I think it does have a pretty high cost, so maybe I'll come back later. First of all, what I'm going to try to do is to overstrength my tanks. Now, uh, I don't think this is going to cost a lot more than um, what I have spent on when I was upgrading this tank to have the, the strength of 13. I think the cost is linear. Yeah, it took 85, but I think it was worth it. Now, unfortunately, this tank is prototype. And then it is green, but yeah, it cannot be um, upgraded, unfortunately. Uh, I guess I can overstrain all these tanks to have the 12 strength. This one. Uh, infantry, yeah. Not infantry, artillery, sure. To overstrain this guy. Let's make it all 11, if possible. Okay, great. Recon, I will just leave it be. Air defense, yeah, I think I have more need of strong air defense than before because I suspect our air superiority will go down further as we go in western direction toward the Russian capital. That'd be pretty uh, interesting how it all shakes out. Yes, infantry. Yeah, very important because this forms the backbone of our army, um, you know. Regardless whether I would find that I'm not giving enough credit to the tank forces as they have 
been very effective so far for me. But yeah, infantry is where it's at, especially in your cities. And I think we have a lot of objectives to capture in this mission. Yeah, so 513. Wow, he charged. Yeah, I already spent like a lion's share of the prestige. Yeah. Kind of gives you a bit of a perspective in uh, what kind of things that you have to do in trying to make your force the most optimized and most effective. Uh, sometimes you can go for all well, these heavy purchases. Or you can, you know, even add like this impact unit such as a recon and sometimes means a world of difference, uh, this scout. Uh, right now I feel that I, um, I want to purchase the WS1, which is what Felix has suggested that he mentioned that he used in this mission. But then um, I don't know if I have enough uh, prestige, so I will try to use the... Well, let me just see if I can just kind of make it all work. 416 and 423. Okay, maybe I can, I can make it work, maybe. Yeah, I, I'm kind of wondering if I have uh, not enough tank. Yeah, I kind of do wonder. Yeah, alright. So what kind of attachment can I get for my infantry? Probably very little. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure about... Yeah, I'm not too sure about it. Maybe I should decrease this. I think about buying some air defense for my tanks here. Yeah, this is going to work out in the end, hopefully, but yeah, I need to be pretty careful in how I spend the point. This one, and of course, let's try that. Okay, so let me, once again, Um, no, didn't work. Okay, uh, I think I'm forgetting something. I think you need to upgrade your unit. I think this is how it works, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I believe all the... Yeah, this guy should have some protection as well. Anti-air. I'm not so sure, should I go for that or not? Yeah, these guys would be nice to have on tier as well because this is hard target and hard target is a uh, very, uh, very good target for the helicopters. Let's see, uh, anti-air. Okay, and all these guys just have some anti airs. I think. Yeah, maybe I should just upgrade these guys to have anti air and then. Um, yeah, this guy as well. And okay, did I forget something? Yeah, maybe I don't have enough prestige. Okay. Well, um, I guess I should go with this, right? Because I spent all my prestige, and uh, maybe I can decrease some of the over strength that I did. Um, with this, I'm not so sure if I should do that. Um. Yeah, maybe I should decrease some of these guys. I mean, these guys were able to survive pretty well. And uh, this is an advantage that I'm basically adding throwing prestige at. And maybe it's not as effective um, because they are pretty good to begin with. They have a lot of experience and they are already over 20. And I think that is could be considered to be overstrength to begin with. So yeah, it's kind of thinking about how to uh, distribute the prestige uh, right now, but pretty complicated. 
Right, okay, so maybe I can purchase a tank or that artillery. Be pretty nice to have one of those. Uh, or I can just go for another scout, which had proven very useful. Uh, maybe I should go for this and uh, worry about the artillery later if I have enough prestige points. And I will, thanks to the I guess, amount of objective hexes that I'm going to be able to capture. And uh, yeah, let's save first. So, rolls 2, and that is after requisition. Alright, so let's check the Dossi. Um, quick overview. Uh, yes, the last mission has ended in... Uh, Amati has ended in decisive victory. Brilliant victory. And uh, yeah, this is the, um, the amount of kills and losses that I have inflicted or suffered. A uh, pretty good ratio. I mean, this is kind of um, yeah, overmatched in a way, but yeah, sometimes this doesn't really seem that this is actually that representative of how the battle was going uh, in certain cases. I mean, because the game is based on turns, I need to also be mindful of the you know how fast or how rapid the progress should be going in addition to the amount of kills the guys are ringing up. So yeah, I mean, that was a pretty good so far. Let's see if we can continue on with this. And as always, I need to check the map and see uh, how the map is like and plan ahead and maybe even go back and reconfigure some things. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. So there's a, a wealth objective, um, I guess, in the southern part of this area. It's called Iset River or Iset River. And this is, um, yeah, this is Romash in the north and Ekaterinburg in the south. This is like fourth largest city in Russia. And I also have to capture this airfield all the way to the west. So, I mean, this could be a bit tight uh, because I believe that this is also eight turns brilliant victory condition. Um, yeah, I need to set up my forces pretty well um, because there is a clear pathway, a clear uh, corridor I can use. And yeah, there is the first two objectives and also there is some clear pathway toward Loginovo. And some of these guys can go up here and then head directly west and there is nothing in the way of... Um, yeah, between here and here, except for there are some forests and there could be some ambushes and the like. Um, the thing is, my forces will be kind of far apart, split far apart, not being able to help each other. So I need to be very careful in dividing my forces. And I'm sure the southern forces will come upon a bit more resistance thanks to the, you know, the sheer amount of objectives around. Maybe I'm kind of expecting the Russians or the defenders will be laying really heavy defensive lines on the outside and then kind of lighter resistance as you go along um, until we reach the objectives here. I guess my plan would be um, just split up my forces like here and then head around here toward the southern airfield and the objectives. On the north, we'll just try to capture all this first and then, you know, race toward west. Perhaps meet together in laying the siege on these two cities. And after that, um, it's going to be a tall order, but we're going to have to uh, face the prospect of going yet again, once again, south to capture the rest of the area. Um, yeah. And then the like, a small force or contingent is going to head west. Uh, as far as the requisition is concerned, I will you know, try to keep with what we have. I try to uh, attack with what we have, so uh, hopefully it's gonna work out. Right, uh, let's give the tanks. Uh, the heavy tank, south. Okay, maybe I can give two tanks to the north, but experienced ones. These two. A lot of speed. And then the rest of it, yeah, these tanks. Four tanks. All right, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Four tanks and recon. One scout. I have like three scouts. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, sure. I use all of them. 
I'm kind of worried about here as well, so I will I'll put one here in the middle and see if I can maybe go north or south depending on the situation. Artillery will have to come later after the recon has done its job. So let's get the HQ ready first. Where's HQ? Um, oh, just saw it. Here we go. And infantry will. Um, okay, let's just give. Alright. Well, it's pretty close by, so engineers might be able to make some impact. While well, these guys will have to travel a bit longer. So, mechanized infantry will be in the cards. Let's give them pretty good ones. Uh, maybe this Type 99 will help also. And engineers will, yeah, go up north. Because they'll be the first to arrive at Katrinburg, hopefully. Hmm, okay. It's not too big a map. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of a. I thought they would be a lot larger, but it's kind of cramped, it seems. Yeah, there's a lot of people living around this city. Yeah, it's the fourth largest city or, you know, metropolitan area in Russia, so. It's understandable. Uh, let's not forget um, about the air defense. One here and one here. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, two and. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, helicopters? Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, clears will come later. I think I have deployment zone, but not on the north side, south side, so I will... I just get this guy here with the air defense and the rest of it, I guess I will fill up with either... Yeah, let's start with this one first. Let's see. Okay, so we can definitely track this guy first time. Uh, first turn and with the scout active, I'll be able to just see what is happening right there in our first objective. Today, so yeah, I need to just see what is up and travel once again. There's a tank. Okay, great. And there is a defender. Yeah, not a lot of resistance so far. I just don't want to get caught up in the... Yeah, there's a recon and there will be another defender. And this guy is kind of losing the uh, movement points, so I will stop for now. In the south, let's see what is going on here as well. Let's see. Um, I don't see. Oh, okay, there was a Strela guy. I think it's a UN. Yep, as you can see, it's a UN guy once again. And I was setting up some kind of uh, ambush for my helicopters. And uh, yeah, deployment force here is lost because. Um, oops. Why did I do that? That's a mistake. It was supposed to be there for us to uh, deploy more forces, but now I'm lost. Anyways, yeah, let's try to get these guys first then, with the infantry and the like. Let's move this guy forward. Now let's move this guy first, and yeah. Let's attack and overrun. Oh, not overrun, okay, that's a mistake. We lose, but could have gone a lot smoother. 4 and 6, yeah. Need some help. Okay, so I cannot deploy anywhere despite that I have uh, this guy hanging around. Uh, kind of weird. Anyways, let's just continue on. Okay, so. And one good. Yeah. Seriously, I cannot deploy more forces here? What is happening here? I don't know, I don't get it. Oh, I can deploy here. Huh. Okay. Well, let's deploy this guy. And try to attack here as well. Alright. Turn 6. Let's see, this guy might be able to help. Yeah. 
Uh, one more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it has anti-tank. It could be trouble. Uh, while wow, we reveal everything, um, around this area. So one more tank here. Need to be careful there. Uh, I guess I need to set up our defensive, um, area or defensive zone around this city, this town. There is some anti-air uh, aircraft defense and there's another defender. I'm sure there is another defender here trying to come down south maybe, trying to surprise us. There's some forest to yeah, impede their progress though. Okay. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of things. And this guy apparently cannot go back. Um, I mean, I thought that there would be one more hex to maneuver around, but I guess I cannot do that. Yeah, let's attack with this guy. Hopefully... Nope. Yeah, sure. Ah, okay, artillery support. Okay, need to be careful. Alright. Another scout. Let's see, another scout, huh? Let's get some air defense here. Oh, I didn't check the air security. We have 40%. Wow, okay, so this is pretty bad. Uh, which means that Russians will bring a lot of airstrikes against us in the first turn at least. Yep, that is going to be pretty bad. Okay, so any more tanks? Nope. So there are a couple of, um, you know, there are some tanks that I need to destroy. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I should bring another tank here uh, to make it even. Maybe I should do that. And overrun and it's going to be much easier to control our um, our holdings or our gains. Alright, more infantry. Um, I will give... Okay, let's just drop all these guys here. Experienced ones. Engineer? Yeah, engineer, sure. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, one of these guys we have to take over this point. Ah, yes, perfect. Ah, leader assigned. Okay, so another leader. Influence, which means um, it's not like in Panzer General 2 where influence halves the cost of upgrade to a better unit, but I think influence gives more experience points to the units around this unit, so that is pretty cool. Yeah, I think that is um, what influence is all about, which is pretty good to have, really. Okay. So I guess this guy will follow here. Yeah, this guy. Okay, I guess I need to destroy these guys. Yeah, need to push them away. Five and two, yes. Great. Okay, so what is this guy? Anti-tank. Ah, I see. Stay down here. And I think one of the recon will have to screen this guy. Yeah, I have two recons to screen this area. Maybe I should have two recon, one recon to screen down there. Yeah, I guess we need to come back a bit. I don't know whether I made the right choice in making you travel all the way down. Hopefully it's gonna work out. And need to just, just push ahead with a lot of... Okay, so barely able to make it. Yeah, I think I overstepped my uh, bounds in terms of overrunning our air defense coverage. Could be problematic. I mean, the tanks are equipped with anti-air, but um, I don't know how effective it's going to be. Um, yeah, I need to deploy once again the anti-aircraft thing. I guess they're right here. And um, the anti-tank will probably just protect this flank, perhaps. I have anti-tank. Oh, yeah, anti-tank is down there. Alright, so uh, artillery is going to find some target. Uh, has to be closer maybe because of the possible 
Yeah, three and four, not good enough. This guy should come back and screen our forces in the south. Well, I mean, southern flank of this northern contingent. And this, I guess, to... Uh, maybe I should go here, I don't know. Uh, maybe this is not the right way. Okay, maybe I should just cross here and then see. Yeah, there's nothing here, really. Um, yeah, there's nothing here, so maybe I should screen these guys instead. Okay, one more here. Uh, 20 here down south, I think is enough. And here is going to be another anti-air defense. I'm gonna come a bit closer. This guy will flank. Well, I mean, protect the north. Yeah. I guess link toward north, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think in two turns I'll be able to make it. Maybe it's gonna work. Maybe not. Helicopter. So what can I do with the helicopter? Probably very little right now. Uh, yes, HQ follow and this guy protect. And this guy go up it north. Forest. Alright, any more units to deploy? Yes, still more. And thanks to the HQ I'll be able to deploy some more units here. And about the artillery, uh, maybe... Uh, I don't know, let's see, uh, over here, and then the, yeah, airborne, the helicopter guys. And I should, should, nope, not yet. Uh, maybe I should just concentrate all my artillery here to tackle these guys, but... Yeah, I should. Ah, okay, so, that was that. Yeah, go up north here and then see if I can sneak around this area as well, so kind of surround them in a way. Um, enough mobility to do it. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay, so infantry, airborne infantry. Yeah, I guess you'll be okay here. Yeah, I'm not so sure this is too complicated right now. Um, so, alright, first turn, I have made some moves, took first objective, but still kind of exposed along with this anti-tank and then of course artillery and very balanced force protecting the uh, first objectives around the Gatunberg. There will be a lot of planes indeed. Yeah, oh wow, okay, so there is a helicopter, so yeah. Attacking, uh oh, yeah, destroyed, oh my goodness, that's not good, yeah, that was pretty bad, yes, it was very bad. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so Russians are prepared in the south as well. Yeah, definitely so. The poor recon. Wow, what the heck happened there? Well, that's crazy. They can just shoot from so far. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, they keep attacking our area defense. Yeah. I feel like we are being overmatched. Yeah, that was pretty bad. 